But I promise you that man now, baby, you did something to me, child. You bought a part out in me that has been gone for a while. What's up? It's your boy, Denied, and welcome to Ratchet Shit, where we cover everything ratchet around the web. This story actually might break your heart. Trigger warning. There's this woman by the name of Michelle Renee Abney. She was assaulted by a customer in the Dollar General in which she worked in. Not only was she not trained to be in that position, but all of her coworkers stood by and watched as the assault occurred. Take a look at this. On July the 12th, while I was at work, I came off a break and the store was packed full of people. Um, when I came off break, one of the managers was outside the store and asked to speak to me. So I went outside and she was discussing something with me that was going on with her and management, her problems with management. Okay. While I was listening to her and her problems with management, the other manager, assistant manager or key holder, whichever one position that she hold, she was inside the store running the cash register. Remind you, I had just came off a break. Okay. She came outside of the store. And she had like three set of keys in her hand. When she had the keys in her hand, it was a man at the ice machine waiting on ice. Okay. She instructed me. She turned around and she asked me, hey, Renee, are you on break? I said, yes, ma'am. I'm on break. She said, okay, fine. You need to go inside and get on the register. I said, okay, yes, ma'am. No problem. I will. Okay, as I went inside to get on the register to help the other customers, I went back and I asked her what was her numbers because I wasn't able to log in on the register. As I proceeded to go back and ask her what was her numbers, I seen that she was irritated and frustrated and upset. She threw the keys in my hand and told me, here, don't worry about it. You handle this man. You go handle the ice. I'll go back in the store and get back on the register. Okay. She threw the set of keys in my hand. Remind you, this is like three different set of keys, y'all. Okay. I proceeded to the ice machine. I went to the ice machine. And I'm trying the locks or whatever to unlock the machine. And I'm like, I don't know which key it is to unlock the machine. You know what I'm saying? I'm new. So I don't know which key it is. The customer that was waiting on the ice started getting aggravated. Okay. He was already upset. Me not knowing that him and the manager that was inside had already had confrontation. They had already had a problem. They had already got into it or whatever had already went, in the, went on in the store. So the man was already pissed off. Mind you, I had no problem with this. I didn't know. I didn't have nothing to do with this. I just came off a break. So when she threw the keys in my hand, I went to the ice machine and I proceeded to try to unlock the ice machine. I couldn't unlock the ice machine because, like I said, it was a thousand keys on there. I didn't know which key it was. Okay. The man started yelling at me, telling me, adios. You need to get the fuck back in the motherfucking store. If you don't know what the fuck you're doing, you need to take your fat ass back in the motherfucking store. If you don't know what the fuck you're doing, seem like you don't even need to be motherfucking working here. I'm like, sir, I'm new. Don't talk to me like that while I'm trying to help assist you. I'm new. I don't know which key it is. I'm sorry, but I don't. Don't talk to me like that. You're not going to disrespect me and then expect me to help you. So I turned around. While being him was arguing, he pushed me and then punched me. Me? I'm going to defend myself. I'm going to defend myself. Man or woman, I'm going to defend myself. I've been with men for domestic violence. I've been through domestic. Once I learned how to fight for myself, I taught myself I would never let nobody else put their hand on me, period. I don't care what's going on. I taught myself to defend for myself. So as me, this man pushed me, I did punch him back. Yes, I did. Once I pushed him back, he pushed me on the ground beside the ice machine and started stomping me with his steel toe boots. Now, mind you, the key holder that was working there, the manager that was working there, the people that was there. Everybody was outside the store, y'all, and they stood there and watched this man stomp me with his steel toe boots 
until he wouldn't stop. Until I can finally get him off of me. Look at my body. My legs. Look at my legs. My legs. My face is swollen. And I got to explain this to my child. But like I said, I defended myself because that's what I was taught to do. Not only that, the employees didn't help. Then nobody helped. They stood there because his name is Desmond Pollard. Yes, Desmond Pollard, Big Des. Everybody scared of Big Des, whoever he is. Yes, I know him because I'm from Kingston. He's from Kingston. That's the only way I know of him. I've never disrespected him. I've never had no problems with him. However, that's why they say they didn't step in it because it was Big Desmond. That's why, Big Desmond Pollard. Okay, the thing about it is, didn't nobody even stop to call the police. I had to call the police myself. After I called my mama, after I called my mama them to come help me. Mind you, I have seizures. I don't supposed to be working, but I was trying because I had to provide for my child. But mind you, I don't supposed to work at all, but I was trying because I had to provide for my child. And this man stomped me to death over a bag of ice and the employees stood there. They stood there. And now that I'm trying to get the police involved, don't nobody want to say nothing. Don't nobody want to say nothing about the management now. Don't nobody know who the manager is now. Don't nobody know who the key holder is on duty now. Don't nobody know nothing. They didn't even want to get them the tape. They didn't even want to let, watch, let the officer watch the tape. But mind you, though, that's not the kin part. That's not what hurts me. What hurts me is because I'm loyal. If you know me, I'm loyal. Anything I do, I take to pleasure. Anywhere I work, I take to pleasure. Do you hear me? That's what takes the pleasure. What takes the cake is it was a person in the store the day before. The day before. Stealing beer. Stealing beer. And I risked my life and went out there and got they stuff. I risked my life and went out there and defended Dollar General. Tell him I'll know. Tell him I'll know. Ask Tell him she was there. I defended that store and I ain't been there no more than three weeks. I defended y'all, but y'all couldn't defend me. Y'all couldn't defend me. Are you serious? Now don't nobody know nothing. Now, now don't nobody want to say nothing. Then, you, then that's the only thing y'all can say is because, oh, it was Desmond Paula. I don't care who it was. I would never sit and let no man beat on a woman. I would never sit and watch nothing like that happen and then act like I don't know what's going on. I don't understand. But I'm going to tell you something. I got to laugh today because I had to get it off my chest. I had to get it off my chest because I haven't slept. I can't sleep. Close the door, baby. Mama fine, baby. I'm okay. Close the door, baby. Close the door. And see, that's why I came outside because I knew my baby was going to wake up. She was going to ask me if I'm okay because I've been breaking down in front of my child, y'all. Because I'm trying. I'm trying. And the way this story really did that, like y'all really stepped there and watched that man fight me over a bag of ice when the lady threw the situation on me. The other manager threw it on me. You knew you had confrontation with him in the store. Why you didn't tell him to leave from the jump? Why you didn't stop the situation then before it even escalated? Instead of you throwing the keys in my hand out of here, you handle this. Why would you even do that? That shouldn't have even been done. But the thing about it is that none of y'all call the police. Then none of y'all say, hey, you okay? Then none of y'all do none of that. But y'all want to ask me, am I going to be able to come back to work? Am I going to be able to come back to work? Are you serious? Are you serious? But you know what? Like I said, I'm going to talk to somebody and I'm going to get justice. I'm going to file my police report because I don't want to handle it my way because I got a child to take care of. But I promise you that man now, baby, you did something to me, child. You bought a part out in me that has been gone for a while. Like I said, I've been through domestic violence, but I took care of that. I gained from that. I grew from that woman. But boy, you done bought a person out in me and I swear to God, sir... I don't want to hurt you, sir. I really don't. So I want to let the law handle this. I swear to God, I do. I swear to God, I do, sir. But if I get close to you, sir, or close to your people, Lord, I want them to feel the hurt that I feel. And Dollar General, I just want y'all to know, baby. I just want you to know, Shakoya, Shakoya, Sabrina, Sabrina Diaz that works there. I just want all of y'all to know y'all wrong. Y'all wrong. Y'all wrong, and y'all know y'all wrong. 
But like I said, it's fine because I can find another job. I have great credentials. I have no problem with finding another job. Like I said, I don't even supposed to be working at all. What if I would have had a seizure while that man was stomping me in my head? Wow. Now, the most disappointing part of this video is that her daughter came out to check on her when she was on the porch having a breakdown. This lady was stomped, beat on by a man that she's not even sleeping with. But by a man, period, that's wrong. Desmond Pollen. I guess he's the neighborhood dope boy that has all the kids running around, all the bastards, and everybody want to sleep with him. I wonder how many people at that Dollar General was actually sleeping with him as well to make it okay. They didn't even want to comply with the police report. They should be fired. They should be sued for negligence. They didn't even train Michelle to be in the position that she's in. And then the other manager fumbling with the keys and decided to catch an attitude and let somebody else handle it. She knew he was a problem. She should have used her right to refuse service to Desmond Pollen. What he did is atrocious. I don't believe in men beating women, especially women that they don't know. So with that said, I think the entire community needs to get together and bully the bully. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below.